Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. Now we have some ESCs that we're looking at today. Um, if you look at our previous playlists um, in this uh, or previous videos in this playlist, you will uh, you will see that we've we've got some of these OC Day 60 amp waterproof ESCs. We got four of these from eBay for you know fourteen dollars a piece, um, pretty much identical to the Ghoul RC 60 amp ESC. All right, you can see these next to each other. Now one of these ESCs looked a little bit funny because the the screw on on the uh, shroud here, you can see how this one's flush. This one's got a, a bit of a gap. Um, I took all four of the screws out that hold the shroud into, uh, onto the ESC, so you know you can pull this out. But just wanted to highlight one thing: what the the reason why this screw, this plastic um, on this edge of the shroud, isn't able to sit flat or completely flat is because if you look really closely. The heatsink is not perfectly parallel to the bottom of the case, all right. As opposed to this one on the right here, where it's it's flat and completely parallel. You can see here that there's a little bit of an angle at this lower edge, so this heatsink wasn't glued onto the uh, speed control completely flat. Um, now you know for 14 bucks, right? You get what you pay for. Uh, you probably can't expect the best in quality, right? This isn't going to be, you know, like a hobby wing unit um, or a castle unit. So I took off the shroud here just to, to show you guys what it looks like underneath. Right, you can see some of the, the components here, the heat sink. Uh, one of the fins on the heat sink was kind of bent into. I'm not sure if that happened during shipping. Um, but you can see the capacitors here, the wires coming out. Now, since this is a waterproof unit, it looks like they had, um, you know, epoxied everything on here, right? You can, you, hopefully you guys can see that in the video here. Let me try to zoom in, but you can see um, that everything has been covered in an epoxy to make it waterproof. Um, so just wanted to show you guys a, an inside look. I, I didn't want to disassemble this all the way here, but if we take a look at it at this light angle, so it looks like during the manufacturing process, they uh, you know they they coated their you know they they poured epoxy onto here, uh, put the heat sink on, and uh, this one was just, was just not completely level. So hopefully this doesn't cause us any issues. We're we're gonna run this one first here and also contact um, the manufacturer because uh, this this would most likely uh, if it isn't sitting completely flat. And this, you know, this heatsink needs to be in contact with, um, you know, with the actual electrical components, you know, MOSFETs or whatnot, uh, that, um, you know, that are dissipating that heat. Uh, we're going to have a problem with this, so um, we're going to go ahead and contact the seller as well, um, and we will keep you guys posted. So. Thanks again for watching. Let us know what you think. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time.